Hi everyone, welcome again to my channel. Today our topic is uh, about English 10, Quarter 1, Module 5, Lesson 3. And this is about analyzing characterization based on the, based on the story. And by the way, the content of this video are the parts in the module that have no answer in the kit to correction. So you, you should be ready with your ball pen and your uh, paper and try to copy or write down the answers from the items. But before that, of course, if you are new in this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also click the notification bell para palagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong video. And of course, please share also. Alright, let us start. Let us begin with activity 3.0 because activity 3.1 is supposed to be your own uh, uh, personal answer. Now, for activity 3.2, Please read the story how Odin lost his eye and answer the questions that follow. Alright, this is the story. And since you have your own module with you, by the way, dapat hawak ninyo ang inyong module habang pinapanood ninyo ito para makukuha ninyo ang mga answer sa mga questions. Let us just proceed to the uh, comprehension questions. Okay, this is a continuation, 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 continuation. Continuation again. All right. Now, this is the comprehension questions. Answer the following questions on your answer sheet. For question number one, what is the problem in the story? Let us focus first with this uh, question. Now, for the answer, the frost giants brought cold and ice to the world and shook the earth in anger. They hated Odin and all the work of the gods. This is only the answer for the first question. Now, for the second part, who are involved in the problem? Okay, this is the answer. The characters involved in the problem are Odin, the Frost Giants, the men and women of Earth, and Mimir. Okay, question number two. What actions were attempted in solving the problem in the story? The answer, Odin climbed down to Earth through the rainbow to see more about his enemies the frost giants okay number and continuation he needs to drink the water on the well guarded by mimir to see the past and the present but he needs to sacrifice something before he is allowed to do this now how did these actions result okay answer he lost one of his eyes because of his action and that's the result Odin became blind in one eye. Now, question number three. What was the final solution arrived at by the char characters involved in the story? Possible answer. Odin removed one of his eyes and gave it to Mimir as a sacrifice in order to be able to drink the water on the well and be able to see death, sorrow, and joy. For question number four. Was there any indication of the character rebuilding or restoring relationship with other characters after the conflict in the story? Support your answer. Okay, possible answer. There was no indication that the relationship between Odin and the Frost Giants was resolved because in the last paragraph, it was not stated whether the conflict was resolved or not. The Frost Giants were not even mentioned in the last paragraph. Now, next part, what is it? Activity 3.3, Plot and Conflict Analysis. All right, you have uh, just intently studied the story of how Odin lost his life. Now, uh, focus on the plot, structure the story, and analyze the conflict experienced by the main character, Odin. Fill out the worksheet below in your answer sheet. For number one, did you feel you were part of the story? Yes or no? Explain your answer. Possible answer? Okay, yes. And for explanation, I feel I was also part of the story because I feel that I need to sacrifice also something in order to achieve my goal. This is only my suggested answer, but uh, 
you can revise this and provide your own answer. Okay, number two, were you able to predict the ending? Yes or no? Explain your answer. Okay, possible answer? By the way, this is open-ended question. The answer should be practical, based on your own perception or understanding of the story. Okay, possible answer? Yes. Explanation. From the title alone, we can predict what will happen in the story. Because the title said, How Odin Lost His Eye. It means to say that at the end of the story, Odin will lose one of his eyes. Question number three. What was your favorite part of the story? Explain your answer. Okay, here is the suggested answer. My favorite part in the story is the part that says Odin needs to sacrifice something in order to see the past and the present as well as be able to see death, sorrow, and joy. I choose this part because I think it is the most interesting part in the story. I would like to know whether Odin will sacrifice something and what important part of, the, of his body is he willing to sacrifice. By the way, I hope you are uh, uh, copying this uh, answer because everything here in this video, answers here are not found in your module. Okay, number four. What type of conflict or conflicts did the author create? Okay, check one or more. Okay, possible answer? Character versus character. Because uh, the conflict is between Odin and the Frost Giant. Another possible answer? Character versus nature. Because Odin wants to stop the uh, cold and the snow which is uh, harming the men and the women. And another possible answer? Character versus self. Now, this is the part which is uh, somewhat difficult for Odin because he is bound to sacrifice a part of his body. Okay, number five. What was the most important conflict in the story? Possible answer? That is character versus self. For number six, what was the main character or the protagonist trying to accomplish? Okay, the main character wants to know the reason why the frost giants hate the men and women he has created. He wants to save them from the giants. Okay, number seven, how was the main conflict resolved? Okay, possible answer. The main character decided to offer his eye. By the way, the main character here is Odin, as a sacrifice in order to see the past and know why the frost giants hate the men and women, but he became blind in one eye because of that. Okay, next activity, what's more? Activity number 3.4, character examination. All right, here is the direction. Go back to the story of how Odin lost his eye and in your answer sheet, fill out the character examination graphic organizer to analyze his character and examine the conflicts which, with which he is caught up in the play. All right, here is the uh, character examination graphic organizer. At the middle, we have her con a character, and then at the sides here, we have feels about him or herself, and in another box here, other attitudes, and then at the bottom is looks. So on the left side, we have says opinion, and on the upper left corner, act something that is done, and on the upper part is add your own category here. All right, let us start with the character name. We are going to focus on Odin as the main character. Okay, Odin is the answer here. And then let us uh, proceed with this box, feels about him or herself. What does he feel about himself? Okay, possible answer? Proud and powerful. You can have your own answer also, because this is an open-ended item. Next at the bottom, uh, below this box is other attitudes. What uh, what other attitudes does uh, Ovid have? Okay, possible answer here is he is also sympathetic. 
because he sympathizes he sympathizes i mean with the uh, with the faith of the men and women who is who are under the uh, hatred of the giants and here at the bottom under looks possible answer is he looks awesome okay and for says or opinion what do you think is the opinion of Odin okay he needs to know why the giants hate the men and women and then for ox something that of uh, Odin has done all right there's a possible answer she sacrificed one of his eyes okay and then here and there add your own category here what do you think what do you feel uh, has Odin done or what do you think uh, is necessary okay he cares for others more than his own okay this is the most important part he care for other people more than himself because he sacrificed his own eyes for the sake of the men and women all right next what i have learned under activity 3.5 reflection now is the direction in three to five sentences and in on in your own answer sheet write what you have learned from our lesson all right here are possible answers number one i learned that there are always conflict in this world i hope you are copying this items number two we can't avoid conflicts of course no matter what you do no matter what your situation in life is there are always conflicts number three we need to be sympathetic to unfortunate people all right we need to uh, we need to step on their shoes or we need to feel what they feel and sympathize with them number four we need to sacrifice something from ourselves in order to reach our goal say for example you want to review or you want to study your lessons of course you need to sacrifice your time you should avoid playing ml or watching tv in order to review your lessons so you need to sacrifice something you need to sacrifice your time okay number five the conflict against yourself is the greatest conflict all right the, because this a conflict against oneself involves a conflict between what you want and what you need to do or what you what you need to do in order to succeed so you need to sympathize uh, i mean to sacrifice something you need to sacrifice your time you need to uh, spend money you need to do something which is somewhat against what you really desire okay so this is conflict against oneself next activity 3.6 the importance and here is the direction in your answer sheet answer the questions below what character or character traits should a person possess to become successful in life okay here's the possible answer a person should want uh, who wants to be successful in life should have the following character traits number one he should be helpful number two he should be thoughtful number three he should be willing to sacrifice number four he should be sympathetic like what odin has done and number four he should be caring number five he should be kind to other people number seven he should be humble and number eight he should value dignity and honor okay i hope you have learned something in this video thank you very much for watching see you again